Hey guys, welcome back. So about a year ago, I made a video on how to install baseboards like a pro. And in that video, in the comments, I got a lot of questions about how do I do returns? I guess in that video I did not go into detail enough on how I, how I made the cut and how I did that. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how. So to make a return, what you need to do is make a 45 degree outside corner cut like you normally would for uh, an outside corner. So let's just get started. Then next, you want to uh, do your opposing cut. So you move your saw over to 45 degrees and then just make that cut. Now you can see all I've done was created another outside corner. So this is the piece we need on the wall. Now this short little guy, we're just gonna take it and we're gonna put it on the saw and we're gonna cut along that line. And then we need this piece here that falls off. So let's head to the saw and get that done. So sometimes I like to just cut that from the back and you just take your saw blade, line it up. Here, let me move the camera on the other side so you can get a better look at this. Okay, so we're gonna cut along that edge. So, just like that. And that there is your little return piece. So now that you have this little guy cut, all you have to do is just glue it on the end of your baseboard so that it creates the same profile that you have on the front on the end. It looks better than, you know, cutting it off flush at a wall where it ends. I usually like to use um, what they call as miter bond, but I am currently out of miter bond. So I'm just going to be using some uh, carpenter's glue. Um, and uh, I read from the comments from my baseboard video that some guys said that contact cement works well for this too, but um, I also don't have any of that. So I am just going to use some wood glue. Now this is MDF, and MDF likes to soak up glue, so put quite a bit on, and then smear it on with your finger. And just uh, put it on there. Nice thing about wood glue, it's kind of a gap filler too, so if uh, you use it out and just wipe it off with your finger. And I find with wood glue it tacks up quite quickly. So you just, just hold it for a few seconds or minutes or if you're getting paid by the hour, you know, hold it on for an hour. But not me, I get paid by the foot, so. Yeah, so you just let that rest. And when it's dry, you put it on the wall and uh, try not to get finger marks all over it. I also received a lot of questions about where is a return used in doing trim work. And it's typically used where your baseboard does not meet uh, a door casing. A door casing is the trim that goes around your door. And it's, it's normally used where it comes and meets and ends at stair casings. That's where I see it a lot. That's where I use them a lot. It looks better than cutting it off flush or, or I see some people that just bevel the edge and then that gets painted up. I mean, it looks okay, but in my opinion, this looks professional and it is professional. It takes only a couple seconds to make and uh, yeah. So that is how you uh, make a return in baseboard. I hope you found this video helpful and answered a lot of questions that you might have had from my, base, my baseboard video that I made a year ago. Uh, I would really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe if you haven't done so and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new video. We'll see you in the next one.